goes Ernesto Espana, the reigning champion, to his corner. He seems utterly composed, seems unhurt, has shown a good deal, I think, of polish during the course of the contest. Now let's go back in time and take a look. Watch this right. Good. It got right in, but notice how quickly Espana counterpunched and got in with his own blow. So you're not dealing with punks in there. This is a good, solid fight. A lot of punishment being rendered by each unto the other. There is Lira, the kid who relies more on guts and stamina and that right than on polish or anything approaching it. So we are coming to you live from Chicago, Illinois, the Conrad Hilton Hotel, the International Ballroom, and round five about to begin. At this point, I make the fight just unofficial scoring. Two rounds for Espana, one for Lira, and one even. A good scrap. Notice how the mouth of Lira is open. Now Lira was effective there because he got his right into the belly, backed off, and was out of Lira's range. That's what I mean by some fighting style. Lira got a right in. Oh, Lira, half taunting Espana now. Half jutting his head out at Espana. Well, I wouldn't do too much of that if I were John. Bevy of punches and Espana answering it down. That right's caught. That right by Lira. Heard Espana. Still, Espana comes back once again, and you saw the long left get in clean. These fellas can be hit. There's no question about that. Fifth round action. Less than a minute and a half left. These rounds go quickly. And this kind of steady punching. And almost incredibly, no blood drawn. You saw a good left scored by Espana, and then another, as momentarily Lira's charge was halted. And he was stung, and the head snapped back a bit. Right there, Lira left himself open for the counter right. Lira ever aggressive, but sometimes paying the price. Now he's got Espana against the ropes, but Espana bounces off. <laughs> In a spot like that, Lira could do real damage to the opponent. Lyra, the brawler. And still look at Lyra move. That body in steady motion as we approach the end of round five. Coming now to the end of the fifth round. Back live at ringside, Chicago, Illinois. WBA World Lightweight Championship at stake. Espana, the burgundy trunks. The defending champion, Johnny Lira of Chicago in the white trunks. Lira with a slight cut. The corner of the left eye. Scoring of this fight might be exactly even. It's so close. It's been, as I said, action-packed and a very tough fight to score. I had said that Johnny Taco would be in the corner of Johnny Lira, but he is not. He had a scrap with Lira just before fight time. He is not in the corner. Harry Wilson has taken over. It's part and parcel of a series of troubles that has beset Lira, as his former manager, Mike Sarge, sought to stop this bout from taking place. He sought an injunction against it. 
and the injunction was denied. Judge Cohen of Chicago said that Mr. Sarge had an adequate remedy at law. This is sixth round action. Right there, Lyra danced a bit and got caught by an Espana left. Half the round and a little more, now gone. Sixth round action. There you see the better style of Espana. Those combinations. Sixth round action. His long arms of Espana did not score then. Lyra out of reach. I must say, I like the way Lyra keeps up his steady movement. Thirty-five seconds left in the sixth round. That right of Espana's connected. Trying to come up with the left uppercut, but missing was Espana. See if there's any evidence of fatigue as the rounds progress particularly perhaps on Lara's part. And we're about at the end of round six. Okay, we're back for round seven. Some of you may have observed the knee brace on the left knee of Johnny Lara. There it is. That is occasioned by the fact that there are pellets in that knee. Remember I told you Lara had a troubled youth? The pellets, the result of being a participant in a gang war. Just reporting the fact. Little cut corner of the left eye of Lyra. No apparent damage to Espana. Seventh round action. A lot of punches thrown. And a lot connected. Saw that right spot. We'd like to alert our local stations along the line that at the end of this round we will take a station break. a little slowed in this round and in a round like this it seems to me the more polished style of Espana becomes more visible. Oh! That counter right by Lara knocked Espana down just when Espana had scored heavily with a left. Nick Acosta, the trainer of Espana, doesn't quite believe it but Lara knocked him down with that right, the first knockdown of the fight. And no question, Espana was stung. Now, Lyra. We will not be going to a station break, by the way. We will stay and show you that knockdown. And Lyra, now totally the aggressor. Espana hurt. And Espana trying to stay away to protect himself, suddenly fighting back with a counter left. But in the meantime, it's Espana who's holding on. And Lara with the first big break in this fight, which had been fought, it seemed to me, practically evenly through the first six rounds. Lara's got a lifetime at stake. You can understand the hunger in this young man. Boxing, as I said, turned his life around. The troubled youth. Involved in gang wars, involved in crimes. And then, here he is, fighting for a championship. The end of the seventh round. 
and there can be no doubt about the scoring in that round. It was Johnny Lira's round. You see the black mouthpiece that leads some to think he's without a mouthpiece? I talked about how his mouth appeared half open, sometimes almost open. Now in slow-mo, watch this. A left lead. Now in with the right came Espana, and at the same time, Lira's right got there first. Let's take a different view. See, there's the left. He backed off. Right there, as Espana was coming in with a right, he had dropped his left, and Lira, bam! Down went Espana. The first knockdown of the fight. There is Espana. And if ever he knows he's in a battle to try to retain his championship, he knows it now. There's the black mouthpiece. There's the toughest. There is the lowercase Rocky. Johnny Lira. Lira, 10 knockout victories among his 17. Espana, 26 knockout victories among his 28. It was Lira who scored the first knockdown here. Series of combinations by a sponge. You're seeing a more cautious Espana now. Notice, covering up. Wary about that right. There's been a change in attitude. Eighth round action. Well, once again, I'd like to alert our local stations along the line that at the end of this round, we will take a station break. Barring such change in the action that would necessitate our staying here. This is the eighth round. Scheduled 15 rounder, of course. Championship by about less than half the round left. Interesting, isn't it, to watch the change in attitudes of the fighters? Lyra, so aggressive. Not worried about leaving himself open. But now, Espana, grown wary, keeping those gloves up, waiting for what he feels sure is an opening for the deliverance of punches. In the earlier rounds, Espana, had been throwing punches in profusion. Not in this round. Looking. Watching. Picking. Right there, two left jabs. Back to the basics. Try to use superior boxing skills. Good, right there. He found an opening. And Espana scored with a good right. And Lyra is a little bit hurt himself. Right there! You saw it! He, you could see him setting up Lyra as he had gone back to the boxing basics. We'll return with more of ABC's Wide World of Sports after this from our local stations.